First at 10, a Valley resident is upset over a legal battle for his property. He says the company is building a pipeline there and it's not giving him enough money for his land. CBS 4 Stephen Seely has been looking into the story. Stephen, what is this man actually claiming that this pipeline company is doing? Well, he's claiming multiple things from a lack of compensation for his land to trespassing on his property. I went to his property to speak with him about his current legal actions. You know, it's you know, it's it's a pressure because uh, you get to you get to be bullied by them. In the end, they're probably going to take take what they want. I mean, they come and go. They're not authorized to go in the property, and they come and go. About two years ago, Ramon Sanchez was given seven acres by his father, and last year. Valley Crossing Pipeline LLC contacted him about his property. Sanchez tells me that they had the paperwork ready for him to sign, but weren't specific with what they were going to do with his land. Well, I told them that's fine, but I was under the impression that this was a, you know, like a small pipe, maybe eight inch. You know, I never, I didn't, I didn't know this was going to be a four foot, four feet pipe. 48 inches, you know. Sanchez says they handed him paperwork and said they would compensate him for his land. He says the first offer was $1,000, but they increased it to $3,000, which Sanchez believes isn't enough for his seven acres. Then, uh, you know, that I, out of the blue, see, I work out of town. I get some paperwork that I'm being sued. I don't even know why. I spoke with Sanchez's attorney. He explains to me that Valley Crossing Pipeline sued in order to take away the land to establish that they had the right to take it. You'll be taking my past and you'll be taking my future too. I have dreams, you know, of living here. Sanchez's father still lives on the property and he believes that a massive pipeline going through his property so close to his house could be dangerous. Plus the safety. I mean, I also think there's a safety concern here because, I mean, what is, you know, something would happen or blow up. He says workers have been coming onto his property in the prep for construction. They're doing it without my permission. So they've been here. They have already cut some trees back there. They, you know, they had markers. They didn't have nothing. They, as, as I see, they never even came in here to survey. They just, you know, because it was, it's a small area. But after, after we, you know, trying to see, trying to nego negotiate something, you know, they've been there. CBS4 did reach out to Valley Crossing Pipeline spokesperson for an interview, but when I did speak to him over the phone, he said that he won't comment on litigation matters. One thing Valley Crossing Pipeline spokesperson did tell me was this case was decided several months ago and Sanchez was compensated. But just before the newscast, I called Sanchez's attorney and he says Sanchez hasn't received any money for his land. In the studio, Stephen Seely, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.